This example will show you how to calculate the volume of an object knowing its mass and density. This is a more detailed question requiring several steps. You'll be shown how to carry out all these steps. Some information you'll need is the density of lead metal and the density of styrofoam. These are given here. A cube of lead has a length of 2 centimeters on each side. Calculate the length of one side of a cube of styrofoam with the same mass as the lead cube. The given information and the question is summarized at the bottom. A plan to use to carry out this problem could be as follows. In step 1, calculate the volume of the lead cube using the length of one side. In step 2, using the volume and the density of the lead cube, calculate its mass. This is also the mass of the styrofoam cube. It is stated in the question that the lead cube and the styrofoam cube are to have the same mass. In step 4, using the mass and the density of the styrofoam cube, calculate its volume. And finally, in step 5, knowing the volume of the styrofoam cube, calculate the length of one side. Okay, we'll start with step 1. Here's how we calculate the volume of the lead cube. Remember, it's a cube with each side a length of 2 centimeters. The formula for the volume of a cube is V is equal to L cubed, where L is the length of one side. The length L is equal to 2 centimeters. 2 centimeters all cubed is 8 centimeters cubed. This volume of the lead cube is now noted in the information below. In step 2, we use the volume and the density of the lead cube to find its mass. We use the formula M is equal to D times V. The density D of lead is 11.3 grams per centimeter cubed and the volume of the lead cube is 8 centimeters cubed. Cancel out the centimeters cubed and multiply 11.3 times 8 and we get 90.4 grams of lead. This is now noted in the information below. We know that the mass of the styrofoam cube is equal to the mass of the lead cube which we calculated to be 90.4 grams. So we note below that the mass of the styrofoam cube is also 90.4 grams. In step 4, we use the mass and the density of the styrofoam cube to calculate its volume. The formula for volume is V equals M over D. The mass of the styrofoam M is equal to 90.4 grams and the density of the styrofoam D is equal to 0 0.021 grams per centimeter cubed. We cancel out the grams. The unit centimeters cubed is on the bottom of the bottom, which means it's on the top, and it is the unit for volume of styrofoam that we need. We divide 90.4 by 0 0.021, and the answer is 4,305 centimeters cubed. So the volume of the styrofoam cube 4,305 centimeters cubed is noted below. Now that we know the volume of the cube, we can calculate the length of one side. Remember the formula for volume is V is equal to L cubed. To solve for L, we take the cube root of both sides of the equation. So the length of one side L is equal to the cube root of the volume V, which is a cube root of 4,305 centimeters cubed which rounded to three significant figures comes out to 16.3 centimeters. So the final answer to the question is the length of one side of a cube of styrofoam with the same mass as the lead cube is 16.3 centimeters. You can see that the styrofoam cube and the lead cube both have a mass of 90.4 grams, but the styrofoam cube is much larger. This is because styrofoam has a much lower density at 0 0.021 grams per centimeter cubed than lead does at 11.3 grams per centimeter cubed.